All right, it is Wednesday, March 20th. What is it? March 24th, 2021. It's uh, 2.07 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym right now. You know, as I was walking out the door, <clears throat> I was thinking about, uh, well, I was thinking about a lot of things. I thinking about business. Um, I was thinking about life. I was thinking about how thankful I am that I've grown up. And you might be thinking about, well, how did you think about life and business? And then think about how thankful you are that you grew up. Well, because things in life are going to happen, right? Things in life are going to happen, without a doubt. The only thing we have control over is how we react to those things. That's it. It's how we react to those things. And what I mean by that I've grown up and I learned is to do the best that I can and not be overreactive or not be overactive about things outside of my control and now I don't know the percentage of people who <clears throat> are dealing with things that are outside of their control but I know the majority of the problems that happen in my life. I know the majority of the, the problems that are going on in other people's lives that they make me a part of. And every time I hear it, it's just sit there listening. So it's outside of your control. I mean, because let's let's I mean, let's 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 think about this. If it was in your control, you would just do something about it. Right. If the very least that you did about something that was within your control was learn not to make that mistake again. You did something about it. You say, hey, listen. I'm gonna do something about it. I will learn to not do this again, to be in this position. But I think, I think most people's stress and fear and anger and anxiety come from areas of life you have no control over. And so I can walk around with this carefree attitude because the things that are going on around me are outside of my control. I mean, I could I could try to get all the answers to make it feel better. I could cry about it. I can't complain about it. I can do a million things. But at the end of the day, it's still outside my control. It's still outside of my and so that attitude comes across to people as you don't care. And when people look at you like you don't care because you've learned how to not stress or worry about things that you can no longer control, it's because they haven't learned how to control it themselves. They haven't learned how to stop being emotional about things outside their control. So they'll kick and scream and yell.
once you start learning how to just say, I know what I want. I'm working towards what I want. I've done everything I can do. I won't give up on my vision. But this is outside of my control. See, I'm a firm believer that whatever it is that you want will happen. It may not happen in the way that I want it to. And sometimes I've seen that happen. I've seen it happen too many times where I can say, it's probably not going to come the way that I thought it would come. It's probably not going to happen the way that I thought it would happen. But I believe that it will happen. And I don't believe that God doesn't want it for me. I, I don't play that game. If it's something I ask for and something else happens to prohibit that from coming to me, I don't believe that that's God saying he don't want me to have it. I believe that that's God's way of saying, I'm not going to let you get it this way. And that's outside of my control. Anything that I can change, I will change. And at worst case scenario, I will learn from anything I don't like. But everything outside of my control, I won't worry about. 